The Joe Beretta Foundation just launched a new initiative called Papa Joe's Plates to help families eat healthy. It's the first program of its kind in Pittsburgh. And joining me now is the founder, Lillian Beretta, and the executive director of Community Kitchen Pittsburgh. We have Jennifer Flanagan here, too. Thank you so much for coming. Thanks for and having me. And tell us who's over here. Uh, this is uh, our chef, John Grabowski. He's our executive chef over at Community Kitchen. Oh, great. And we know you don't have a microphone on, so you're going to get to work <laughs> here in a little bit. You guys are going to kind of like walk us through Absolutely. what's happening. But let's start first with what the Joe Beretta Foundation is. Yes, the Joe Beretta Foundation is an organization that we started because of our family's personal experience with heart failure. So we, unfortunately for us, Joe passed in 2016, and from that, our experience, we launched the Joe Beretta Foundation, which helps families that are going through end-stage heart failure with all their non-medical needs. So we provide temporary housing at Family House. We provide, um, we pay for their bills, back bills, their mortgage, car payment, anything you know that they need that is not medically mm -hmm. connected, we pay for. And so how did Papa Joe's Plates come about? It actually came about because of a board conversation that we had in a breakout session, which, so if you're a board member, talk it up. Yeah, you know? right. And we found out there were families that were not able to afford to eat correctly and it was affecting all their heart failure numbers. Sodium is a very huge I know. problem in yes. the heart failure world. So we said, because we're who we are, we said we're gonna do something about that. And we started the Papa Joe's Plates, which is heart healthy, low sodium foods that helps the patient, their caregiver, and their entire family. And tell me about how you got involved in this too. So Lillian approached us about doing this. So we are a nonprofit food service company. We actually do job training for people with um, barriers to employment. We help them get careers in food service. Mm -hmm. And then we also do community meals. So we do thousands of meals every day to shelters, other nonprofits. And increasingly, we are partnering with agencies like the Joe Breder Foundation, which is really great because it pairs meal services with critical supports. That's and that wonderful. really just, it, it increases the impact. Well, we have a lot of food in front of us. Yes. I know you're going to get to work down here. We have tons of great looking leafy greens here. What are we making? What are we getting our hands in? So we have a uh, grilled. So I, I want to start out by saying when people are trying to reduce their sodium intake, the hardest thing is that it, things don't taste good to you when you right. first start taking. So the, the and I can attest to that and, because and, yeah. I literally did it for a year. I said, if right. I'm going to ask people to do this, I'm going to do it myself. Well, it's the same thing like cutting out sugar or reducing your sugar. Sometimes Absolutely. It's, just, it's just an right. adjustment that you have so, to make. So the trick is to use flavors that pop. Right. right? Mm -hmm. and, and these are really bright summer flavors. We have a grilled chicken. We have a really nice summer salad with a pesto vinaigrette on there. And vinaigrette's the easiest thing in the world to make. It's a quarter cup of... Um, lemon juice or any kind of vinegar and then it's a half a cup of uh, olive oil and then whatever else you want to put in it. So we are putting pesto in this today. Okay. A little bit of Dijon, a little bit of shallots. Are we going to mix this up in we here? We are going to mix we it up are. in here. Yep. yep and yep, we're we debuting are. this recipe and here actually, and oh, it's going to be on our, you on our app. If lettuces together so, on, into yep. the, uh, yep. So we're going to cut these up a little bit yeah. Heather so that they're more manageable. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to take what you've, I'm sorry, I think you just like, washed your hands and I, I did, did not. I yet. did and I washed all the lettuce okay, so that's we're in great. good shape. And this is some, it looks like bib lettuce. Bib lettuce and here's what bib lettuce looks like when you go to the grocery store to buy it. It's, it's so, and it's radicchio. so good. Mm -hmm. Yes, radicchio. Arugula. And then what else do we have here? We have some uh, uh, toasted walnut, uh, uh, almonds, almonds. Uh, unsalted and some fresh blueberries. I love yeah. adding fruit to my salad. Yes. It really it's does. So I mean, good. And the thing about a pesto, this pesto really just has um, basil and olive oil in it. Mm -hmm. um, a pesto is really just uh, an herb and a nut. So you can use parsley and walnuts, you can use cilantro and cashews, you can mm -hmm. use Whatever basil and like. pine nuts. It's, it's a really flexible, that is the dressing that is all finished. And finished. finished. Yep. And you've whipped this up really nicely. So we're just gonna kind of drizzle, drizzle it. And on we're top. gonna talk about that um, chicken portion over there. Yeah. Absolutely. So, we'll yeah. so do you want to come well. down here Absolutely. and we yeah. can walk yeah. through this with your executive chef? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So we are going to, um, it's just, what we're, we're going to do is we're going to take um, chicken breast Okay. And you want to marinate it. We have it in a um, olive oil based mayonnaise, a little bit of Dijon, a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of lemon juice to marinate. Set it in there, let it sit for 15 minutes. Um, I did want to point out that we yes. do, um, the Beretta Foundation has a great mm -hmm. partnership with a new company for seasoning for this kind of thing. If you want to just. Yes, okay. if I could. So yeah. we, we are constantly wanting to partner, right? Because that's right. how you have a greater impact much quicker. And we are partnering with a company called Savory Spices, and they have provided to us a number of spices that if you're interested, if you go to the Joe Beretta Foundation, which is tjbf.org, you can send us your home address and we will send you for free oh, a spice wonderful. packet that is no salt 
that you can use instead of the alioli that they're making. If you wanted to marinate it in the no salt spice, you can do that. And it's free to anybody who wants to send the. And we will link you up too. If yes, you're interested, please. go to kdka.com slash talk pits. We're going to have all that information for you there. So I know we're short on time, yeah. but we basically, you know, you, you grill a chicken breast. It's about five minutes each side. Um, we have, this is the lovely finished plate. Yes. We've got a um, little bit of a, a, an aioli on there. Really simple. Um, it's it's um, a little bit of uh, olive oil mayonnaise and the stone ground mustard. We, we put the summer salad. We have some grilled ciabatta bread and we just took roasted um, garlic and just spread it on there. Oh my gosh. A little gosh. bit of olive oil. It's quite delicious. This is going to, you're going to have to keep talking because I'm yes. going to have to take a little bite here. Yeah, it's really good. And, and the thing about these are the flavors pop, mm. right? And you really don't miss the salt. Uh, you know, it's in it, that 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 nice pesto vinaigrette. It's just in, in the colors. You eat, people eat with their eyes, and so the colors, yes, the flavors. Important. You're not going to miss your sodium at all. You would not be able to tell that there's limited salt in this. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. There Actually, so there's, no there's no salt in. There's no salt. There's no salt. There's no salt. salt in there is so much flavor. I'm missing absolutely nothing. Yes. Thank you guys for coming absolutely. on. Absolutely, I'm so glad. Yeah, thank you for having and us and for what you guys are doing to help keep us healthy. We really appreciate it. Thank you. More on our website, as I mentioned.